Here's how to transmit tax returns in Crosslink 1040. Start by opening the tax return you want to transmit. Then click the Q button found on the tax return toolbar. Q, meaning to line up or arrange, prepares tax returns so that they can be transmitted to the IRS and or state. Please note, if the tax return contains errors, you'll be prompted to fix those errors before it can be queued for transmission. If the tax return is free of errors, you'll be presented with the queue return for transmission window. From here, you can select or deselect the tax return packages you want to queue for transmission. In my case, I'd like to queue both the federal and state package for this tax return. Once you've selected the packages you want to queue, click the queue button. The tax return will close and the program will return you to the lookup screen. Note the status of the tax return will now read return queued. To transmit queued tax returns, click the transmit button on the program toolbar. The transmit window will display the amount of tax returns queued for transmission. And if desired, you can click the filter button to view the tax returns individually and to remove them from the next transmission. Once you click the transmit button, the tax returns will be transmitted immediately. And now for some helpful tips. When using prior year versions of Crosslink 1040, please note that the Q button may appear as a transmit button instead. The difference between these buttons is purely its labeling, as they both perform the same functions. If you want to remove a tax return from its queued status, open the tax return. Since the return was queued for transmission, the program will notify you that the tax return has been locked from further changes. To remove the lock, click the return menu and then click lock slash unlock. Once the tax return is unlocked, click the close button and then click yes to delete the tax return from the transmission queue.